Zelensky was here yesterday. He was asking for fighter jets. At the moment, we've just said we're going to give you some training for people to fly those fighter jets. How do you feel about that? Hello, Patrick. Uh, it's very nice to see you. Thank you for your invitation. Uh, I think that was a very important visit, and that was very symbolically that London was uh, number one uh, visit after Washington. And it uh, shows, it reflects the, the importance of the United Kingdom and its support to Ukraine. Uh, the second visit of President Zelensky after February 24. Speaking about the fighter jets, it's uh, absolutely okay to start with the training, because without training, fighter jets for us is just a piece of metal and uh, it should be training it's not howitzers it's not tanks it's uh, the most complicated weaponry possible it's uh, fighter jets not only pilots but also technical crew needs training before ukraine would really have a possibility to use them so that's great that again united kingdom shows leadership and uh, first uh, ukrainian pilots will start to train on western jets in the united kingdom big thanks to united kingdom people and uk government i think quite a few people here in the uk are scared that vladimir putin might be very very angry about all of this and it might start world war three what would you say to those people first of all vladimir putin if, if you care about what he likes or not he will go and take london uh, and there is a London Grad where the Russian language uh, is heard and he wants to take everything. So the first thing with a bully like Putin, uh, it's uh, don't, be scared, don't be scared, don't be afraid. That is the worst possible way. Secondly, he is already using everything he has against Ukraine. And the quicker we will win this war, it will be better for everybody. If we would have fighter jets, howitzers, high marses, long-range missiles at the beginning, we would finish this war long, long ago in the, for the benefit of everybody on the planet. So the only way to escalation is to, pro, to, to prolong this war. This is a real way to escalation. That's something we should uh, uh, prevent. Also, I want to remind uh, these people who are telling this, that the United Kingdom and the United States are guarantees for Ukraine of our sovereignty. We voluntarily gave up our nuclear weaponry 30 years ago the third uh, largest nuclear arsenal in the world under the guarantees of the United States and the United Kingdom. Uh, can, I think it's impossible to say that the word of this two so respected country was nothing. So I'm very thankful for the you know, all support we are receiving, but also I want to remind that this is a part of guarantees which were given to Ukraine uh, in 1994. And can I ask, what's the mood like where you are in Donbass at the moment? What are people feeling over there? Because there are rumours, aren't there, that as the weather gets better, as winter passes, that Vladimir Putin might make some gains. What's the, what's the feeling like? Putin already started a new offensive uh, some days ago. And uh, on Donbass, it's very heavy fighting. I was just came, I was several kilometres from front line with our troops. And I can tell you, Russia is attacking now, not somewhere in future. They're doing it now, and for this, they use the only advantage they have, manpower. Because, first of all, they have a lot of people, so they, they, Russia is much bigger than Ukrainian population. Uh, and secondly, they don't care about people at all. So they, they, they are dying in thousands on Ukrainian fields, and they don't care, and they go ahead and ahead. They, use, they took people from prisons, they took convicted people, they are mobilizing, they try to use indigenous people in Russia, and uh, that's uh, the only advantage Russia has, and they try to use it, this advantage at most. Just sorry, very, very finally, very quickly, Alexei, I want to ask you this one. Do you think that Ukraine will ever ask for British troops to go over there to fight? We are not asking for troops, and never we asked. Uh, we don't ask for boots on the ground. We were saying it from the, be from the beginning. We can do everything ourselves, but for this we need weaponry.